Stoicism is an ancient philosophy that teaches us how to live well in a chaotic and uncertain world. It helps us to cultivate virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control, and to focus on what we can control rather than what we can't. By practicing Stoicism, we can become more resilient, calm, and happy in the face of adversity. As the pages of the calendar turn, so does the opportunity for self-renewal. In the spirit of the Stoics, let's explore how to recreate ourselves in 2024, a year of growth, resilience, and unwavering wisdom. As Seneca wisely said, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Let's not waste any more time. Join me on this journey of self-recreation inspired by the Stoic masters. Before we delve into these timeless teachings, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked the video, enabling me to continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you're not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Lesson 1. Identify what is within your control and what is not. Focus on the former and accept the latter. One of the core principles of Stoicism is the dichotomy of control. This means that there are some things that are within our power, such as our thoughts, actions, and reactions, and some things that are not, such as external events, circumstances, and other people's opinions. We should focus our energy and attention on the former and accept the latter with equanimity. This will help us to avoid unnecessary stress, frustration, and anxiety, and to make the best use of our resources and opportunities. We should also remember that we can always control how we respond to what happens to us, even if we can't control what happens to us. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Lesson two, practice gratitude for what you have and do not complain about what you lack. Another key stoic practice is to cultivate gratitude for the things that we have in our lives, such as our health, our family, our friends, our talents, our possessions, and our time. We should appreciate them as gifts from the universe and not take them for granted. We should also avoid complaining about what we don't have or what we wish we had, as this will only make us unhappy and dissatisfied. By practicing gratitude, we can increase our joy, our optimism, and our sense of abundance. We can also recognize the value and beauty of the simple things in life and not be distracted by the superficial and the trivial. As Epictetus wisely said, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Lesson three, challenge yourself to face your fears and overcome your weaknesses. Stoicism is not about being passive or indifferent, but about being active and courageous. It encourages us to face our fears and overcome our weaknesses by exposing ourselves to the things that we are afraid of or that we avoid. By doing this, we can expand our comfort zone, grow our confidence, and develop our skills. We should also view every challenge as an opportunity to learn, to improve, and to test our character. We should not shy away from difficulties, but embrace them with enthusiasm and determination. As Seneca wisely said, the bravest sight in the world is to see a great man struggling against adversity. Lesson four, learn from your mistakes and failures and do not let them define you. Stoicism teaches us that mistakes and failures are inevitable and unavoidable, but they are not the end of the world. They are part of the human condition and they are valuable sources of feedback and wisdom. We should not be ashamed or discouraged by them, but rather learn from them and move on. We should also not let our mistakes and failures define us or limit our potential. We should remember that we are not our actions, but our choices. We can always choose to do better, to change, and to grow. As Seneca wisely said, no man was ever wise by chance. Lesson five, seek wisdom and knowledge from various sources and apply them to your life. Stoicism is not only a philosophy, but also a way of life. It is not enough to know the theory, but we also need to apply it to our daily situations and challenges. 
We should seek wisdom and knowledge from various sources such as books, mentors, teachers, friends, and even our enemies. We should also be open-minded, curious, and humble, and not assume that we know everything. We should also practice what we learn, and not just talk about it. We should put our principles into action and not just memorize them. We should also review our progress regularly and reflect on our experiences. Albert Einstein once said, The more we know, the more we realize how much we don't know. Lesson 6. Live in the present moment and do not worry about the past or the future. Stoicism advises us to live in the present moment and not to worry about the past or the future. The past is gone and we can't change it. The future is uncertain and we can't predict it. The only thing that we have is the present and we should make the most of it. We should also not let our past or future affect our present happiness. We should not dwell on our regrets, our mistakes, or our losses, but rather focus on our achievements, our strengths, and our opportunities. We should not worry about what might happen, what could happen, or what should happen, but rather focus on what is happening, what we can do, and what we want to do. Seneca wisely said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Lesson 7. Be kind and helpful to others, and do not expect anything in return. Stoicism also teaches us to be kind and helpful to others, and to not expect anything in return. We should treat others as we would like to be treated, and not as a means to an end. We should also respect their dignity, their autonomy, and their freedom, and not impose our will, our opinions, or our judgments on them. We should also not be attached to the outcomes of our actions or the reactions of others. We should do good for its own sake and not for the sake of rewards, recognition, or praise. We should also remember that we are part of a larger whole and that our actions have an impact on others and on the world. Mahatma Gandhi teaches us that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Lesson 8. Be humble and modest, and do not boast or envy. Stoicism also urges us to be humble and modest, and to not boast or envy. We should not be arrogant or proud of our achievements, our possessions, or our status, but rather be grateful and humble. We should also not be envious or jealous of others, or their achievements, their possessions, or their status but rather be happy and content. We should also not compare ourselves to others or measure our worth by external standards. We should rather compare ourselves to our own ideals and measure our worth by our own actions. We should also acknowledge our limitations and seek to improve ourselves. Confucius said that pride is the parent of destruction, humility is the parent of safety. Lesson nine, be honest and truthful and do not lie or deceive. Stoicism also values honesty and truthfulness and discourages lying and deceiving. We should not lie or deceive ourselves or others, as this will only harm our integrity, our credibility, and our relationships. We should also not lie or deceive for our own benefit or to avoid consequences, as this will only backfire and cause more problems. We should also not lie or deceive for the sake of pleasing others or avoiding conflict as this will only compromise our authenticity, our self-respect, and our courage. We should rather be honest and truthful even if it is difficult, uncomfortable, or unpopular. James A. Garfield once stated, The truth will set you free, but first it will make you miserable. Lesson 10. Be content and happy with yourself and do not compare yourself to others. Finally, Stoicism teaches us to be content and happy with ourselves and to not compare ourselves to others. We should not seek happiness from external sources, such as money, fame, power, or pleasure, as these are fleeting, unreliable, and unsatisfying. We should rather seek happiness from within, from our own virtues, our own actions, and our own choices. We should also not depend on others for our happiness or let them dictate our happiness. We should rather be self-reliant, self-sufficient, and self-motivated. We should also not compare ourselves to others or let them influence our self-esteem, our self-worth, or our self-image. We should rather be confident, 
secure, and proud of ourselves. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Remember, Stoicism is not a set of rules, but a way of living. You can adapt and modify these steps according to your own situation and preferences. The most important thing is to be consistent and persistent in your practice. As we draw the curtains on this exploration of recreating ourselves like Stoics in 2024, may these timeless lessons guide your path throughout the year. If you found inspiration in this journey, share your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more empowering content. Here's to a year of wisdom, resilience, and self-recreation. Until next time, stay wise and forge your path of purpose in 2024.